Right, lastly, back at the radio, go menu here, the button. Go to set and down to SD card, which is at the bottom. SD card. And now we want to import some settings. So let's try, let's go to import, export, import. And it says here, repeater list, go up and down. Repeater list, and there it is. I'm gonna tap that and go, I'm gonna put no. Yes, so it imports that repeater list that we got from dstar.org. So that's that done. It'll probably tell you to reboot once it's done. Okay, some data was corrected, thanks. I'm gonna reboot. Turn it back on, and then I'll show you how to do the repeater monitor list. You do need the latest firmware. I'm on 1.32 for repeater monitor. So we've got our, if we hold down DR, we've got our repeater list now, which is excellent. You can add your hotspot to that. So now we're gonna do the whole monitor thing. So we're gonna go menu with the latest firmware, go set. And you'll notice there's a new setting called DV repeater monitor. And then I've already put it in there. So if the file's here, just go to it and select it, okay? That's the one there. So that means that when you're in DR mode now, you can push the multi button and tap monitor. But you, it does say you need to be Wi-Fi wi connected. I'll do that now. And the reason it does that is because when you use repeater monitor, it will pick up DV repeaters via the internet as long as the repeater itself has been enabled, you know, Wi-Fi internet enabled, it will it will also pick up RF repeaters um, in the normal way. But if, if they've been Wi-Fi enabled, it will pick them up so you can effectively monitor two because if you're listening to one RF one and then another one, it finds another one that's internet connected, it can't, you won't hear them at the same time, but it will, it will let the other one through when say the RF repeater goes quiet. So I'll just do my my Wi-Fi. I haven't done that for a while. Been a while. Turn it on. That's the Wi-Fi on. So it's wireless LAN. Then go to connection type station. Connection setting station. Click that and then click access point. It will find your Wi-Fi. There's mine. And then you put in your password. Enter that and then click connect and then you'll get your Wi-Fi then. Still picking up my other ones. It says connecting. It says connecting. So we've got our Wi-Fi connected now. And then we're going to push the monitor mode. Uh, let's have a go now. Remember, when you're using monitor mode, there it is there, repeater monitor. You don't have to be in range of it as long as it's internet. My call sign is not set. Let's do that. And that's because I factory reset it. That's fine. Go menu. Set, go to my station, okay? And then go my call, press it again. My call sign, we hold it. Are we holding this or what? Yeah, edit. M, zero, F, X, B. And then I'm, what I do is I go along past the flat line and I just put in 705. I, I like them to know what I've got. And uh, I'm not going to do a message now. Right, let's do that again. My monitor. Monitor is on. So now, how do we find stations that are internet connected? So what you do, as you scroll through the monitor ones, well, what I'm going to do, I'm still going to go for the nearest one. I'm going to tap it and go near repeater all. And then I'm going to select one that's near me. Make sure that monitor is on. Okay, so I did one thing wrong, the top half. So you can listen to your hotspot on the bottom half, no problem. Then you tap the top and you want to go to Gateway CQ. Yeah, you see that? So tap the top, up and down, Gateway CQ. Choose your area. There's my United Kingdom one there. And let's go back to the beginning. Try and find one. Oh, it doesn't really matter. So just tap one. And then you'll start to get the word monitor. Remember, we've got to have monitor on here. As you scroll through, see, if, it, if monitor appears like that, it means that it is internet linked, but it might not be turned on. If you want it to be turned on, it, see that it's failed to connect. But if, if you 
go through and it will go white. And when it goes white, like there's one there just gone white. That means if someone talks on that repeater, you will hear them via Wi-Fi, okay? Now, if we go to the bottom one here, I can still connect to my hotspot. So we're monitoring my hotspot at the bottom. If something comes through, we'll hear it. We've got monitor turned on. If that went white, that means it will be connected and we would hear someone. So give it a go. It's a shame because many people haven't taken advantage of that. Many repeater keepers haven't linked that to it. But if they did, it would just make the radio even more fun, wouldn't it? There's one there in Cambridge. Pretty sure you could probably scan it as well. I'll just try the scan button here. I'll just go... Yeah, it looks like it is. It's scanning the bottom one. Do the top one. Near repeater. Oh, it's only scanning the bottom. Try again. Yeah. Even if I put it on there. Okay, bye for now. 7-3.